When I reset on World 7 Fortress 2, that's me pretty much finishing a run. Because if I don't reset on 7 Fortress 2, then you have to watch a 2 minute auto scroller, another 2 minute auto scroller, then a 1 and a half minute auto scroller, then 3 short hand levels, then another 1 minute auto scroller, then I do 3 levels, and then you have to watch another 1 and a half minute auto scroller. So there's about 8 minutes of auto scrollers that I'm sparing you when I reset at World 7 Fort 2. Yeah, exactly. We'll get- we're gonna get a run started, guys. We just gotta get through this silly bullshit that Mario 3 likes to dish out. Any COD? Fuck no, I uninstalled that shit. Building up for good RNG later. I wish. I wish that's what I was doing. Uh, I will not be playing Luigi's Mansion. I'm not really into vacuuming games. I know it's cool. And I know everyone does it, so it's like, it's like a mild popular fad right now. Because, you know... One person does it on stream, and everyone does it because that's what you have to do on Twitch. But no, I'm not doing that. I played Luigi's Mansion. I vacuumed up some ghosts before. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's some cool puzzles and stuff like that. The visuals are nice, but I'm not I'm not interested in that kind of gameplay. Not even off stream. Uh, I'll probably play it off stream eventually. I mean, the game is gonna last forever, right? I can do, I can get a digit. If I am ever staled at some point, if I'm like, oh, there's no good games, I'll probably get it and play it, right? Everyone gets like a, a stale, a stale week with video games where nothing sounds fun, not even your favorite games. So you just go searching for random games. Yeah. You just go on Steam and you're you're on the, the store for like fucking six hours trying to find a game. The game is searching for a game. Like Netflix? Yeah, when you're searching for something to watch on Netflix. Yeah, I would ag I would agree with you guys. I mean, if Luigi Mansion is good and people and everyone's saying it's good, then then it's good, right? I don't know if Luigi's Mansion is bad or good. I haven't been, I haven't played it. I haven't really watched too much of it either. But for me, I'm just not totally into that gameplay. That's I can miss out on Luigi's Mansion. I'm cool with that. Dude, it's doing... No, I'm... I have to continue, guys. Because... So what happens in Mario 3 sometimes is it does all of these things that force you to never leave certain worlds. It's trying... It's trying to th throttle me right now by not letting me leave. It... So what that means is it's constantly causing me time losses that are too big for me to continue. So it forces me to reset. So what I'm doing right now is I'm saying, fuck you, game. And I'm continuing anyways. Because if I don't, it's just going to do this for like four hours. And that's essentially how Mario 3 works. If I don't do this now, then I'm going to be here for another half an hour in this world. So I have to take the time loss and just get through. Sucks I went offline. To change one of my settings. I was ramping in I was ramping in viewers nicely. And then I went offline. Let's get the streak going. Yo, 14 months, baby. It's a good streak. That's what I'm talking about, man. 
Dude, this game is hella sassy. You can ask any Mario 3 speedrunner. This Mario 3 does this. It keeps you in World 1, and it does every... There's only certain times, though, you can feel it. You can feel whenever the game is going to force you to stay in World 1 for, like, three hours. Yo, I love that you count Hammer Brother movements. That's awesome. Are you going to be good at it whenever you can't see the movements? Do you need my help? Dude, it's like a 507, guys. A 508. I told you. That's why... See this time right here? That's why you reset when you take damage on the Piranha Plant. Right? That's why you reset. People are like, why do you reset so much in World 1? Because I just wasted almost four seconds that I can easily avoid if I reset, right? And that's what speedrunning is all about. So now I'm just fighting against a time that I don't need to be against, right? Like, it's just a, it's just a big waste. Like, the time I can save in World 2 is gone now because I'm not actually saving the time anymore. Because I lost so much time in World 1. And a lot of people ask, why do you reset so much in World 1? Well, to be honest, I actually don't reset all that often in World 1. I feel like I'm the least World 1 resetter. Because I've, I've made a deal with this game now. I will take this 3 second time loss if I don't have to be stuck in World 1 anymore. Guys, what is in my body that's creating my sweat to be, like, more slippery than normal? I feel like I'm sweating, like, like, grease. What the fuck? Dude, I can't play today. That's it. It's one of those days. It's just one of those days. I'm getting the meat sweats. It's okay, I had a Caesar salad for dinner. I had a chicken Caesar salad for dinner. What is going on? Getting the world one sweats, right? We can at least go for door three, right guys? Or get all movements of one in this world. That world two castle pipe skip? What's that? What's the world two castle pipe skip? Last time I saw Bowser, like, probably like two or three days ago. See, why does a run like this have to give me all movements in two? I have a feeling it's off screen one grab. Whee! Yo, five months, welcome back. God damn it, this hammer brother. What an asshole. No, it's not off screen. What trick is it?
Oh, the clip in the fortress. In the fortress, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Hammer Brothers are the biggest bullies. Hammer Brothers are by far the biggest bullies. Yo, what up, Raiders? How's it going, guys? How's it going? Did you guys have a good day today in the Pooh Bear? Is he dying a lot, or is he surviving a lot? That's the question. Is he dying a lot, or surviving a lot? Yo, thanks a lot for that raid, Pooh. I hope all is well, I hope all is well. I'm excited for December, very excited. <laughs> I died a lot, but I won. That is the end of every, that's like the end of every fairy tale. We lost a lot, but we won. Pooh Bear, remember when you did that video where you played where you played Mario 3 with a bunch of gamers that didn't know how to speedrun? And you did 4-3 and you absolutely annihilated it? Like that. That's how you do no-hit runs. Dedicate like four years of your life. Yeah, those games are crazy. I still, I still have not played a Dark Souls game. Pog, pog me. <laughs> I love slash paper, dude. I know, I know. I'm like, I'm like dreading. I'm dreading it because I know I'm gonna sink into it and it's gonna be amazing. But also, yeah, I'm excited to see. All right, guys, off-screen one grab. Let's go. Ah, it's close. Whoops, I missed my split. Yeah, I like the I like the fighting behind it. I like this the strategic fighting. I enjoy watching it. I feel like like I watch Dark Souls more than I thought I would watch it since I haven't played it. I normally like to watch games that I've played before so I can like somewhat relate without spoilers, but nope. I just watch Dark Souls all the time. I'm so late too. I should definitely like really get into it. Yo, first frame jump. Yo, what did you want to do? Like, two-player co-op, non-randomizer, like, all forts, crowd control? What a janky name for a category, man. Like, what even, what kind of category is that? <laughs> Let's do six A presses, crowd control, mega jumps on with Game Genie. Oh, nice. There's going to be a little work done to it. Yo, I'm down for that. If you, if you can, try and get, uh, what's his name? Car Kara, Kara something? Kara Cat? I always forget his name. That boss bass thing, man, that's, that's a killer, dude. Where, like, you can't beat the level if there's a boss bass. You have to, like, wait for it to disappear and then enter the pipe or something. I don't know, I can't remember. Jabum has done a lot of crowd control, so I have to ask him more questions about it. He knows a lot about it. Jabum's like pro crowd control. Dude, I'm super stoked, man. Have you ever been to Toronto, Pooh? Nice, yo! Yo, Toronto's really cool, man. Toronto's really cool. I hope you're excited, man. Hope you're excited. Also, 
Um, I know some of you might not care, but PewDiePie just did his first trip to Toronto and went to, like, Niagara Falls. Well, it, okay, so the heart of the city in Toronto, like, Niagara Falls is easily an hour and a half away. More than that, especially with traffic. So, it was, uh, Toronto's really cool. I know you guys, most of you probably don't care much about PewDiePie, but relatable nonetheless, because Canada's cool. Everyone's going, guys. Everyone's going. Right on. Right on. Cool. I'm excited. Misadventure, are you gonna... Misadventure, are you gonna... Are you gonna fly from, uh... Newfoundland? To Toronto for the session? You should. Come on, flying in Canada is cheap as hell. It's only a thousand dollars from one province to the other. Go Canada. I swear to God, when you fly within Canada, you get a tax on your flight. It's like Canadian tax. Just that's it. That's all it's called. A tax you don't experience anywhere else in the world. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> taxes in Canada. The EH taxes. <laughs> so silly. Oh, New Brunswick. That's right. I'm sorry. You can't miss class. Um... Yes, you can. I, I, I'm i sorry, I don't understand what's preventing you from missing class. You see, that's the question. <laughs> uh, I was a little over-exaggerating with the $1,000, JP. It's obviously not $1,000. It depends, I guess. Air travel's always finding the best deals and when, when to book and, you know, even your seat. Even what seat you choose. One million dollars to fly from Saskatchewan to Manitoba. 27 minute flight. Does United fly to Canada? Probably. YYZ doesn't fuck around, guys. That's an intense airport. If you really want to save a nickel and a dime, you should just fly to Buffalo and cross the Peace Bridge by Niagara Falls. You'll save a lot more money. International flights are butt faces. Yes, Mario 3 levels are a lot shorter. bringing some time back in this run guys i'm actually bringing some time back here this is awesome yeah we talk about customs they're, they're on to me man so yeah back to my pc that i'm getting are you guys happy to hear that i'm gonna get a, a 2080 i can't decide if i want to spend the extra 200 dollars and get a 2080 super yeah i'm getting a 2080 and a, and a ryzen 9 for sure i i like we're just in those times right now i can't for what i do with streaming and uh, in all honesty like all of my peripherals my monitors the ability to switch from retro to modern to high def to 4k for what I do, I have to get a PC that's over two grand. It's just what you have to do. It's, it's, it's a good investment, nonetheless. It's a good. You have to, right? What do I need for four K for? You, you're telling me. 
that I shouldn't get a VR ready PC and fucking blast like Resident Evil 17 in 4K VR. <laughs> I don't need 4K, but the option of having 4K is doesn't hurt anyone. Why, why not, right? Combo. Resident Evil 17, pog it. No, I don't think I'm actually getting a 4K uh, PC. But I'm getting I'm getting a PC that's obviously open for upgrades. I'm not a crazy big PC guy. I've built all my PCs. I'm kind of tired of building PCs. My PCs are always messy too because I just want to get it built and ready to go. For a streamer, it's not just building your PC and yay, you're good to go. It's like you have so much other crap you have to do all the time. Dude, I'm getting... I'm getting the brand new HP Pavilion. With Windows Vista. Is going to be my new PC. Okay, I saw the NZXT. I went to their site. You can get a custom NZST build for like 1400 that is proclaimed by Dr. Lupo and Ninja that it's like one of the best streaming PCs out there. Yo, Pro Vista. Yo, when I was in, when I was a kid, I was a, super into Pog. Nice movement of four right there. But I have to admit, guys, it wasn't the Pogs I was into. It was the Slammers. I remember some of my favorite Slammers were the Casper Slammers. I loved my Casper Slammers. When I played Pogs for keeps. Slammers for keeps. I didn't allow the kids with the metal spiky blade pog. No, you know, I'm not playing for keeps with you. Never. Get that metal shit out of here. I loved my Casper pogs. I don't remember having any Ninja Turtle pogs. But I really, I really liked pogs. I also got into Crazy Bones, but they weren't uh, they weren't really popular or much of a thing. Pogs are back and out. Another movement of four, fantastic. Thank you. He has nothing. He did the same thing last round too. He's got nothing better to do than to go in that position every single time. Everyone who knows their stuff, hard likes worth once so whatever gives them less money. I was talking with some of my, some of the people in my community about getting a good PC build and stuff like that, right? And I was like, alright, sick, I found all my parts, now I'm gonna put it together on a site and then have it like pre-built for me and then sent to me. And I know why, and I know a lot of people are against purchasing a pre-build, but I legit am telling you right now, I legit am telling you, my laziness for not having to build yet another PC is easily worth like 500 bucks. I'm willing to lose like $300 so I don't have to build it. 
I built all of my PCs. I built Kaylee's PC as well. And let me tell you something. Okay? My PCs are messy. I don't delegate my cords at all. Oh! What? I had it, dude. I had it. Yo, holy shit, SDCO. I guess that means he's back, guys. I guess that means SDCO is back. What's up, dude? The 20 gift subs. What up, man? How was your little vacation, dude? But, guess what, guys? I'm buying all my parts individually and building it myself. And you know what I'm gonna do with this build, guys? I am definitely 100% gonna make all my wires clean i'm gonna zip tie them i'm gonna feed them all through the back i'm gonna keep my cases on this is the last computer i'm building i don't think it matters if you buy pre-build honestly like the quality of the pre-build is gonna be better than me building it i'm not even kidding you Plus, I don't want to take the time, man. I want to open the box, have my pre-built specs, and just plug it in, and we're good to go, man. Like, that's... Yo, SDCO, man. Good to see you. How was the vacation? Yo, you were here for that minus 10 split? Dude, that was fucking insane. That minus 10 split in World... In World 3 was stupid. It was World 3... World 4, right? You left England? Nice. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I know you save money when you build your PC on your own, buying parts separately. But you see, that's the part where I was saying, like, the amount of money I would lose getting a pre-built, like, I'm okay with. Because I don't want to put in the time. Stream PC build. No, because I would never stream my PC build because I'll get, like, a handful of guys in chat who are going to tell me I'm doing everything wrong and everything dumb, and it's just, it's silly. I'm not doing that. Please, if I'm going to, if I'm going to sacrifice my time with a, with an annoying PC build, I'm going to at least do it in comfort with, like, a beer half naked in my office, right? Like... That's just when you ignore those geeks. It's not their fault. They're just trying to make me do my PC build as efficiently as possible. That's all. Sounds like great stream content. Yeah, if you want to get banned. Uh, don't forget, guys. I have a new command. Exclamation. GSLB. And it has to do with the new gift sub leaderboard that Twitch implemented. And I decided I'm going to give away a gift every week. Every week there's going to be a gift for the top gift subber. Now this is not any incentive to the gift sub. This is for people who are supporting me. I'm considering not revealing the prize of the gift sub. So it's not incentivized. I don't want... It's, it's hard to explain, but I don't want people to be incentivized to give sub for a prize. I just want people to get a prize simply for supporting me. So at the end of every week, every Sunday, whoever is the number one gift subber of that week will get a prize. And that's just, I don't, I don't care if it's one gift sub. It doesn't matter how many it is. I want to be rewards, yes. Exactly. It's hard to drive that point nowadays on Twitch. Everything's incentivized, right? Also, I'm 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 half dumb anyways, and I don't know how to explain anything most of the time. See, I just got two flowers. How do I explain that? I don't know how to. Alright, moving to four right away at the start of the world. That is fantastic. Uh, last week, Mortal Cobra won an MFP hat, but he has not claimed the prize. 
He has not claimed it. He is nowhere to be found. <laughs> My Komagata already starting out the deals. this week Mai gets the shirt no 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 that's not how it works if you want Mai to have the shirt then when I send you the shirt you can send it to her I'm not playing tiddly winks with the prizes here guys you win what you win okay this isn't Seinfeld's make your own pizza pie with Mitch's prizes here Tiddlywinks is a paddle in here. What is this? Dude, I still can't believe I don't have a one single gift sub notification. That's like the one notification I forgot on Streamlabs. out of there now. What? Where's the star? Gino needs to get on that. I'm, I thought I'm, I'd mentioned it to him. He's also working on my Christmas package right now. Guys, my nose was itchy, okay? F you guys. Alright, Giga, you ready for my vine climb? Check this out. See that pog jump? Yo, this is my second run where I have to go for Jesus Flip. Hold on, I will get to subs in just a moment, guys. Preferably after Jesus Clip kills this run. My package will be wrapped for Christmas. Surprise, dick in a box. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm, no, I'm gonna change it up this year. I'm gonna do a surprise. I'm gonna do fruit, the fruit bowl in a box. Y'all know what a fruit bowl is, right? No need to explain. <laughs> For the love of God, no one explain. Yeah, don't. About it. It's Christmas, guys. Okay, it's Christmas. It's all. It's all okay. trick
Dude, I thought I was gonna fall in that hole there for a sec. Are you sure it was 21? I got four movements of four. I know that. Wasn't I Jesus clipping? No, because the Hammer Brother came out of there. And I want to see World 6. I also want to show you guys what it's like when you get really bad RNG in this world and I don't Jesus clip and reset. Because I don't think I've really messed much up right now, have I? I haven't made too many mistakes. Four movements of four, two movements of two, and one movement of one. Yeah, we don't have a, a we don't have a single gift sub notification for a, a notification for one gift sub. What are you gonna practice, Giga? I want to tell you some some interesting tricks about the vine in the Twisty Castle, but if I tell you any of them, all you're gonna say is, I know I did it years ago. That's like your patented answer for every strat. Strats that have never been discovered before, you're like, I know Mitch, I did it six years ago. And I'll be like, oh, okay. You just chose not to tell anyone. Yeah. So I'm not telling you what I do on the vine. There's two very interesting things you can do on the vine to make it more optimal. <laughs> that was my way of bitch slapping Giga right there. Yeah, Giga did a 109 offline on his Joy-Con. Yes, whenever I grab the wand, I will get to the the subs and stuff like that. I promise, guys. show you the MFP shirt that you guys win. Yes, if you guys, I can send you my un... I haven't worn the shirt. It's just, it's been sitting there, though. Collecting the scent of my home. Considering how bad my Hammer Brother movements were, this actually isn't that bad of a World 5. It's too far forward. Yeah, I knew it was going to be about 10 seconds. Okay, so this is the shirt, of course. My patented MFP shirt. You guys can see Grand Pooh Bear wearing it sometimes, too. This is my shirt. It's nice and beautiful. It's got that... It's got that, um... Nintendo Power kind of font look to it. It's really cool. It's the MFP shirt. And then we have, yo, we have Pixel. And Who Can't Love Cats. And Scotty D, SDCL with another gift, Who Can't Love Cats. And Lean Mink, all with the gift subs. And Scotty with the resub for Prime. Thank you so much, 18 months. size is the shirt um i think i have smalls mediums and maybe xl kaylee would know the sizes that are left we only have smalls and mediums yo another gift sub thank you 
I'm feeling 55 coins, guys. Let's get the 55. This is the scariest to go under here. Didn't I ask you in Discord, SDCO, what your shirt size was? Oh, no, I... I didn't give shirts, did I? Because we only have the sizes or the hats. I can't remember. No, no, no. It's it's not our fault, Force Kitty. Because we only have two sizes left. The loot crates were just a gift for how much support he's been giving us. So we just put in whatever shirts we had. It was just a gift. Yeah, the hat was separate, so the loot crates didn't come with the hat, but that was a while ago. Yeah, there you go. Make the shirt into a pillowcase. Goodbye, stubbornness. Any good runs yet tonight? Uh, this is my second run and it's not so bad. I feel like we're all we're all spoiled brats and we all require minus and green splits constantly there's nothing wrong with having some plus splits here i'm among the spoiled brats too when it comes to green splits trust me i'm all about the green split life guys trust me Green splitter bus, you see? I caught you guys. You're all into this green split life. <sighs> Up pattern is so bad. That's that's like the number one way for me not to get a gold. How do you how to not get a gold? That early P speed, guys. What? It blocked me into him. This level always. The ceiling bonked me into him, dude. The ceiling bonked me. Got early P speed again. What up? Fucking sea creatures, man. And then I just do it perfectly, guys. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, we can bring this back. Dude, that was so fast. Holy crap, dude. That was like as fast as you could do it. We can bring this back to PB pace. Seven one, seven seven, seven five. Forty-four eleven. Okay, we have like 20-something seconds to save. Is that a 10-second time loss? More like an 18-second time loss. You have to remember, 
Traveling to the level, entering it, getting to the point at which I died, traveling back to the previous square, then traveling back to the level, the additional Hammer Brother movement. Yeah. Big time loss there, but it's okay. We can bring it back. I'm gonna do everything hard in World 7, including 7-5 seven clips. Oh, you don't know what 7-5 clips are. That would explain a lot, because nobody goes for 7-5 clips. Seven five alone. If 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 I do seven five extremely optimal, I can save eleven seconds. I can save an additional nine seconds in seven nine as well. So I can save over twenty seconds in two levels in World Seven. But I have to get the best RNG I can possibly ask for. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I can't believe I made it. That's awesome. Beep, beep. My bonkage. Giga started running Mario 3 before me, obviously. Giga is Fred Savage. Yeah, I started Mario 3 in about 2010. Okay, 20 seconds right now. What was my time? In 100%? Okay, I'm about 30 seconds behind a decent run. My first 100% time back in 2011 was probably, no, 2010, sorry, it was in 2010. Probably would have been maybe two hours. Yo, if I get this clip, I can save like 10 hours. That was close. I was close. I went for it. I was almost in there, too. I was almost in there. It's not tried more often because if you miss it, you lose your fire flower. You fall in the spikes. Yeah, but I overshot it, right? When I under when I undershoot it, I'll never get the clip if I never undershoot the clip. If you always overshoot the clip, you're doing something wrong, right? You need to undershoot and overshoot to be in between the success, the possibility of success. Yeah, the zero in. Zero in. I'll go for a fast kill as well. One of my first races in Mario Brothers 3 was against the Mexican runner.
Yo, with amazing strategies, we can totally bring this back. We can totally bring this back. I can't believe I only lost 16 seconds. What? What? Well, we have to hope for 7 5. It's over, guys. My success rate for 7-1 has actually gone down doing the manipulation. I'm not even kidding you. It's actually gone down. I don't understand how my success rate has gone down with the manipulation. It's crazy, man. I used to get 7-1 first try all the time without the manipulation. And now, using the manipulation, I never get it. Stop using it, I should totally stop using it. What the heck was that? Why did I jump there? Saved it. Oh, saved it. We in there. I knew it was going to do that, man. I already I had already tested it. RNG is so bad. All right, here we go. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go for the crazy wall jump here. I tried. There's like a crazy wall jump there. 